take that. Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the black dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger. Knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in!
Shorter than I expected. How's service under Henselt? See anybody complaining? And we don't like busybodies. Tournaments. Now that's a pastime for real men. I'm here about the Rotfiend contract. What about it? The fiends have rotted for good. Well done, we lost many patrols to them. Here's your reward. Morons.
We're too late. Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilfgaardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there, I promise. King Henselt awaits you, Witcher. At last, have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic! She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr, and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution, I was on that hill. I'll show you. That area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did, but earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, Your Majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, Your Majesty. Head towards the black candles, Your Majesty. Now go towards the Goat Skull, Your Majesty.
Now towards the burnt tree. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. Sire, form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire is a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as Death Mold puts it. Look at my boots. Stay in the circle, Your Majesty. The powder reeks of love and dumb. They're scared of ghosts as we all are. Curses! There's hundreds of them! Calm down, Your Majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. What should I do? When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. You've broken the circle. The specters could get through. What shall we do? I'll take care of them. You finish the exorcism, Your Majesty. Curse you and self! Damn, you're ugly. My blood and fire! Let it be so, my blood and fire! The shooting star split the heavens and brought its mortal journey with a trail of blood! Let fools be duped by the sight of fish tails turned by magic into square pieces of gold! Are you sure? All I can say for sure is that a dwarf can pass between a troll's legs, even on tiptoe. But I think it went well. Good. For me and for you. But all the worse for Edern. You owe your freedom from the curse to Saskia's generosity. You should send a delegation to thank her, Your Majesty. 
I'll thank her in person once you disperse the fog of spectres from the battlefield. That'll be much harder. I have faith in you and faith can move mountains. Funny you say that. I need an artifact symbolizing faith. Yes, Deathmole told me. I'll give you the medallion. First I must have a drink. Come to my tent. I'll roll out my best wine. You deserve it! Did they hire a witcher? The king is occupied. Return after sundown. No talking to the prisoner! King is occupied. Return after sundown.
Get a hold of yourselves. I'm glad you're here. A messenger from Adania arrived this morning. Read. The king of Redania, Radovid V, son of Vizima and Hedrig from Malior, the heir... Get to the point. The point is, it's not true that after the death of King Foltest, Temeria will be inherited. In truth, Foltest left a lawful heir. Who is this heir? Due to the tragic death of Prince Busi, his sister Anais will inherit the Temerian crown. Witcher, you fought in the battles for the Lavalette's fortress. Tell me, how old is this princess? She's only a child, but she'll grow to take the throne. Throne? Remind me, who's her mother? She is the king's daughter. Foltest wanted to recognize her as his own. The Foltest I remember would never do that. If you counted all the bastards I begat, I could fill all the thrones of the north. What the hell's going on? Guards! Are they? They wanted to kill me. Me! <laughs> the scum. Witcher, we must talk. Deathmold said you needed this medallion. You saved my life, and I'm not nearly as ungrateful as some might say. You'll receive the pendant in due time. Pity none could be taken alive. Don't fret, Tanzerville. There are ways to make a dead man speak. I know those methods. Necromancy is forbidden. In the absence of the Council and the Conclave, it's hard to know what is forbidden. What would you say, Your Majesty? I want to know everything. Plow that corpse if you have to. Do anything it takes. Necromancy, Your Majesty, is a branch of magic. I don't care. Do as you're told. Count me out. Ah, as the common folks say, be at ease, the woman's gone. I'll need your help, Witcher. You know where to find me. It's never ending. I'm the bloody king, but she mumps and sulks like some common servant was trying to grope her. Not every sorcerer is like Deathmold. Many don't like messing with corpses. As long as she's in my camp, she'll do as I say. Go. Deathmold is probably biting his nails in anticipation. 